Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's see where our adventure is going to be taking us next. We had quite the emotional episode last time. Not sure how Cloud and hey! Tifa are going to be handling everything. Barret! I think I hear him up ahead. Hey! Can anybody hear me? Here goes. And push! It is not looking Marlene. good. Marlene! Marlene! It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before, it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Hold on to this, this anger, okay? <sighs> Barrett, Marlene's fine. Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. <sighs> and she did? You sure? Okay, looks like we've got Barrett back. Come to think of it, we should probably check out some things once we get through this part. Materian equipment, Barrett. Gatling gun versus light machine gun. I wonder which one is better here. I think we'll leave it as is. And then materia, we have ice, lightning, and heal. Okay. Upgrade weapons.
if there's anything we can upgrade for Tifa. And Cloud. Okay. How could this happen? I didn't really think the hell is going on. It's like everybody's in disarray, confused. Things are just not looking good. I say it. Where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, Tifa. Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. <laughs> Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. Isn't that what you want? Cloud? Hmm? It's nothing. Let's go. Definitely seems like it's something. Oh, look who it is. Crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. Like someone popped the lid off our world. Looks like we're back in sector six. Wait, over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Legit paralyzed with fear. I'm serious. Glad you said yes. Found him? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Drinking water, food, too. Found him? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Huh? 
the first thing we need to do is find a place to take refuge. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the pillar? Yeah. Biggs, too. They were both in pretty Let bad shape. Through, damn it. Let me through, but Wedge wasn't up there with them. Seven. He got out. All right. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. My ears are still ringing from it. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. Okay. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't even understand. <laughs> We're almost by Aerith's house. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett! Sorry, I'm buried. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, 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 Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing she's a pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I said she's sleeping. Uh, I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. I'm not quite sure Keep Aerith's mom Don't is excited to see us. She kind of wanted us out of the picture. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. 
My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. Oh, wow. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Interesting. Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the uh, knock. Uh, uh, coming! <laughs> no! Go away! <sighs> You know, you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the Ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the Ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the Promised Land. <clears throat> Some believe the Promised Land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. 
They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're I not tend to anything, doubt it as well. You? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're working our way back. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows us stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. My ears are still ringing from it. This wasn't. This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. Over there. Okay, let's head over this way. Let's check if there's anything over here. Ooh, a Mughal medal. Nice. to fight our way through, but it's our only shot. Oh! 
Okay, let's go! Gotta get it! Nothing over that way, and nothing over this way, I don't think. Okay. Cocky little bastard, ain't you? Okay, let's head over this way next. Oh boy. Destruct. Okay, let's see if anybody. Yeah, we definitely need some cures for Tifa. And there we go. We have that way, and we have this way. What is over here? Oh, nice. Heavy duty bracer. What does that look like? Okay, 53 for defense, 13 magic versus. That sounds pretty good, actually. And more materia slots. Okay, we have healing, revival. It's probably good to have. Fire, ice, lightning, wind, poison. We have yet to use poison. Maybe you want to try that out sometime. Refocus, auto cure, deadly dodge. 
Oh, we should have a Sus on there too. Just because we don't have Aerith at the moment. Okay. Hey, it's these guys. Nothing's gonna stop us. You would say that. Okay, let's go. Looks like there's an item way over there. Bottle of ether. More materia. To see it with my own eyes. Tifa. Uh, Orb of magnify materia. Yes. What is that? Inventory. Items. Hmm. Key items, maybe. Magnifying materia. Expand range of length materia effect reduced by 6% when expanded. Oh, that's kind of cool. How about... Okay. So instead of poison, let's switch that into magnify. There we go. Why 
Emma! You're alive! Still in one piece? Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> yeah, I think we're actually at a good stopping point for this one. We're past 30 minutes, and it looks like we've got quite a bit going on in the rest of this chapter. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.